We have had a productive year in 2012, and we have accomplished a lot by bringing the city together with many different agencies, groups, the Cattaraugus County IDA, the EMS, and New York State agencies. I want to continue the momentum and hit the ground running as we begin a new calendar year for 2013. The New York State Empire State Development Corporation and the Western New York Regional Development Council are at the top of the list, making the $2.6 million available to complete the much-needed upgrades to East State Street. The Manufactured Handover Building Development launched a redesigned project for North Union Street and provided additional funds for hangar space to our growing municipal airport. These are some key elements that have already begun to polish the city's image at several entry points, and we believe this can attract more attention, residents, and businesses to our city in 2013. On the topic of our airport, I have to just mention how excited I was to learn about our partnership with Cattaraugus County as to have brought a $54,228 county grant for the new airport tractor and more. We have enjoyed excellent cooperation and shared services with the county and other important government agencies. This cooperative spirit extends into the non-government organization communities also. This has borne the fruit in the shape of a community-wide warming center for victims of emergencies who may need immediate warmth and or shelter. We hope to see continued expansion of shared government services and emergency aid as they are needed. And there is a time when each and every one of us find ourselves in need of help from our neighbors across the spectrum of life in our city. But I would like to share with you some of the nuts and bolts of our city's government for the factual picture of our condition as we enter 2013. Fiscally, we are in good shape, and I intend to keep my proposed tax rate flat or to repeat the past year's 1% cut. Even as we continue to down the deficit financing path, we are obligated to pass a preliminary budget along to the state for approval by March 15th deadline. Our auditor, Fred Saradin, tells us we are ending 2012 with a $5.7 billion surplus. While we are counting a 25% increase in the rec center revenues, a 5% increase in sales tax income over the past six months, and a boost in the airport revenue of 37% that can only climb in the future with the improvements on the way there. Guided by prudence, we have turned away from any new debt and paid off $1.5 million in long-term debt. But balancing that great news are some weighty factors. We can't forget that our pension costs, over which we have no control, continue to climb 21% during 2011-2012 fiscal year, and another 13% in 2012-2013. Also, despite surpluses and improved systems, we may expect to see an increase in the water and sewer rates in 2013, in part due to the increased debt service costs. We finished 2012 with a $720,000 water fund surplus, 
we have seen several IT updates also. In the Department of Public Works, rose to the pleasantly surprising challenge of overseeing two East State Street reconstruction pro projects once the funding was secured. Relining and repairing adjacent sewers and utilities was also commenced, and the effects of completing these milestones will pay off for all the East End residents in 2013. I don't doubt that those neighbors, neighborhoods will see expanded development in the very near future. Also, 36 streets were resurfaced, two playgrounds were replaced, with a third scheduled for 2013. We increased the area of sidewalk repairs by, or to, 4,900 square feet of the four foot wide sidewalks, 1,010 feet of square footage of the six foot wide sidewalks, and 22 handicap ramps were replaced. This does not include the work done on these state streets with their sidewalks or ramps. The city workers also used 720 tons of blacktop patch at a cost of $56,713. They replaced water lines over two large areas in the city. During the year, we replaced some retirees, hiring two streets workers, three in the water, wastewater division, one in the water department, one mechanic, and one electrician. All replaced retirees, they were not new hires. We have continued to put our workers where they are needed most, repairing 10 water main breaks, 20 service line breaks, replacing 1,765 feet of six inch main with eight inch main. On the East River side drive, eliminating any main breaks on that section and replacing 1,550 feet of four inch with six inch main on the West Fall Road. Director Tom Witness informs me that our new water meter system has helped us notify customs, customers about possible leaks in their home, thus saving customers money and saving the city water for more beneficial purposes. We have already heard good news out of the Youth and Rec Department. The increase Rec Center income brings a continuing future payoff in more healthy young and old <coughs> residents and a more vibrant and active community. In the spring, we hope to see completion of the multi-use area and more upgrades at the William O. Smith Center building. Much, much work is being done in-house. The seniors will be happy to know we plan more minor repairs to the John Ash Community Center, and some changes will bring increased revenue. There have been ongoing improvements to the North Ferry Street parking lot, and we are looking forward to the painting of the Bartlett House <coughs> this spring and summer. We are anticipating our second year of the Oilers, and we will continue renovating Bradley Stadium. Okay, moving on to the community development. Community development is leading the effort toward the North Union Street redesign and has spent a lot of time working with Empire State Development, holding two public hearings to get community input to make our city a more walkable community. Two meetings have been held for the North Union <coughs> Development Project, our Brownfields Opportunity Phase 2, and one very well attended in the North OAN on Election Day. And to the information was used in the steering committee meeting that followed. We should see movement in 2013 with the developers on the manufacturing handles of the city. We have seen several new businesses on North Union Street, and today I helped cut the ribbon for the new business, the Bella Rouge Bridal Boutique on West States, on West Side of North Union Street. It's very exciting. Our fire and police department continues to serve and protect our community. We have seen a lot of activity to curb drug crime and violence, and we can look forward to continued protections by our fire firefighters <coughs> and emergency medical service responders, agencies that have really answered the, cha the change with their community environment or involvement. We all continue to work hard towards completion of a countywide emergency service disaster this will lead to cooperation with the Army Corps of Engineers, 
for some of the badly needed upgrades to the Allegheny River flood control dike system. Also, our police department improved improvements included heating and air conditioning units on this that end of the wing of the building. And all departments are represented in our fleet management committee to control repairs and replacement costs of city vehicles. I am very proud of my volunteers who have spent an estimated 2,000 hours of work sprucing up and tidying the views, setting an example, and promoting a sense of pride in our community. The Neighborhood Preservation Committee's volunteers number a couple hundred and have really made, made, made a difference in the appearance of our city. We saw a successful and beautiful second annual Adopt the Planner project. We installed new trash barrels in the high profile areas. A number of youth and county weekend workers brightened up number, numerous city facilities, <coughs> including the fire department, the city building, the city garage, and the rec center, while saving us a great deal of money. You can expect to see neater landscapes in Lincoln Park as volunteers bend to the task of weeding and planting in 2013. With all our success, we sometimes have to take a bitter with a sweet. One of our companies that played a 98-year role in our history, Dell Tile, was purchased by another company, experienced a downsizing and now a relocation, closing the city's plant. We helped along with the county, state, and federal government, but Dell Tile has now closed. Many workers have already found jobs, and some have retired, and others are going back to school, preparing for other work. We will miss this important business for a long time coming. <clears throat> On another hand, we have to look forward to the completion of the new Good Times Bowling Alley and a project adjacent to the park, Forest Park, costing a group of local investors $5 million and a signatures, some positive elements for our community. I am proud of the city employees who help raise money for numerous causes that the public probably doesn't hear about. One of those was a group drive by the firefighters who raised $1,800 to aid breast cancer research, while more than over $1,000 of a raffle held yearly to help fund the Child Advocate Center by the city employees. I'd like to close by saying I look forward to another productive year helping Olean become the city that